This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. There are a few ways to go about the process of creating a PDF portfolio. We've seen in an earlier video on combining files into a single PDF. Within this dialog, we have the ability to change this option to PDF portfolio rather than a single combined PDF file. However, there's an entry right here on the welcome screen and you can choose to create PDF portfolio here or you can choose it from the toolbar under create PDF portfolio or from the file menu under create and then PDF portfolio. Whichever path you choose, you arrive at this dialog box. There are really just two basic steps to creating the initial portfolio. Choose the layout and pick the files. You can see here there are five different default layouts in Acrobat 10. Notice that each gives you a preview as you click on it, and we'll look more closely at these in a future video. For now, we'll pick the grid layout. Keep in mind that we can change this at any time later after we create the portfolio, so we're not locked in with our choice here. We also have the ability to import custom layouts. These additional layouts, which are NAV, or NAV files, can be created using Adobe Flash or Adobe Flex. And if you look around, you may be able to find new layouts available on the web to download. Acrobat 10 ships with just these five to start. Once we've chosen our layout grid, we'll choose Add Files, which is the second step. We'll navigate to the Working Files in the Chapter 9 folder, and we'll start by just adding the files we see here. There are seven files, including one Excel file, and then we'll click on Open. This brings the files into our portfolio editor. We're in edit mode, and you can see the Acrobat tool pane is completely different from what we've seen in Acrobat so far. The tools are completely replaced with only tools relevant to modifying PDF portfolios, and the toolbar is changed as well. We'll start here in what's called edit mode, but edit mode isn't exactly what you'll see when you're just viewing the portfolio. At any time, we can go to the top of the toolbar and click the Preview button to see the portfolio as it will look when it's initially open. Here we can see the thumbnails arranged into a grid, and due to the small screen size that we're working on here, the last thumbnail is actually hanging off the bottom of the screen. Now at any time, we can switch back into the Edit Mode by clicking this toolbar button, and we can continue to work on this portfolio. As we're working with the portfolio tools, it's easy to get confused here. So I'd recommend keeping these panels collapsed until you need them. We can see at the bottom of the set of panels here that the basic portfolio properties are set to use Myriad Pro as our font throughout the portfolio. Keep in mind, this setting applies to the portfolio itself the names and other informational texts that appear throughout the navigation of the portfolio, and this setting is not in any way related to the fonts used within the PDF files themselves. We can choose here to embed fonts. This is similar to embedding fonts in a PDF, but in this case it applies to the fonts that are used within the portfolio itself. So if you want to have the fonts embedded, click here. And remember that if you don't embed the fonts, your PDF portfolio might look a little bit different on someone else's computer. The next option here is to modify the card size, which is the size of these thumbnails. It's currently set to medium, and since this is a relatively small screen here, it might be better to change these cards to small. We can see the change right away here, and if we go into preview mode, we can see now that the thumbnails are actually fitting on the screen. So this may be something you want to consider as you're creating your layout. Now we have our PDF portfolio created. It's relatively basic and it's not customized at all, but we'll go ahead and save it by choosing File, Save As, PDF Portfolio. We'll save it in the working files in the Chapter 9 folder and we'll put it in the Portfolios folder and we'll call it basicstart.pdf. In the next video, we'll continue developing this PDF portfolio by adding and arranging files within our layout.